everybody, it's Blue Ducky, and welcome back to another Toy Talk. I hope you are all having a great day, and thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you so much for all the watches and likes and subscriptions that we get when we do Toy Talks. It really lets us know you like it, and uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Okay, this one is mostly going to be Funko related. Uh, there's a lot of info that came out what Funko's planning to share at Toy Fair 2017 in New York. Uh, there is some other blind bag stuff in here too. So mainly Funko, but some more blind bags. This, for example, is Vinylmation. Uh, it's based off the parks. Disney um, parks? Yeah. You can see all different stuff there. Pretty cool. This is UCC Distributing. They have some Kingdom Hearts blind bag figures, which and they come these little globes. They're really cute. Here's what the case looks like if you happen to find these. Uh, I like the Jack Skellington there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kingdom Hearts is making a big comeback because they're preparing the third one, I think. That's awesome. I like how they, they're in little capsules, though. That looks cool. The Heartless and Mickey. Uh, here's some more UCC distributing, and these are some Pokemon keychain plushies. I think they are in blind bags too, I'm hoping. They're adorable. There's the case, how it looks, of the Vinyl Mation. The Park Stars Vinyl Mation. Uh, these are Mighty Meeples. Um, these are kind of ugly for me. I I can't understand from this picture what exactly they're just, they are. Um, DC and Marvel, they do a lot of, they, they license their properties to a lot of different companies. I know, I'm and just, these, I don't know what they are. Are they figures? Are they flat? I think flat? they're just little mini figures, but. They look I, weird. I don't, I don't like, like the, the design of them. No. These are good. These are new Littlest Pet Shop. The new blind bags. And they're rings? Uh, I guess you... Yeah, it looks like... I didn't notice that while putting it together. But it looks like you put them on a ring and they, they hide in little yeah. things. They're really cool. They're really cute. Um, probably won't fit on my fingers. No. But I like the idea. It's something uh, they, they new. They do different things with their blind bags. Yeah. Unlike My Little Pony is just similar. Yeah. Uh, these are Kid Robot Adult Swim. Blind bag boxes? Uh, vinyl figures, yeah. Oh, man. I love the Samurai Joe ones. Samurai Jack? Samurai Jack. It's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> but I like those. Yeah. That's cool. These are Sonic um, Kid Robot, and I ordered a few of these, not the whole box. Mm hmm. Uh, I really like the figure. For some reason, I know there's an anniversary coming up for Sonic, so they're putting... And then rings do have a lot to do with Sonic, but I don't like them putting the rings on the base of everything. <laughs> but I, beyond that, I really like the figures, though. Really? I think that's cool. Oh, you like the ring? Yeah, it makes okay. a nice decorative base. These are cool. To I love Toy Story. Toy Story? Yeah. Those look some nice little blonde figures. Yeah. Justice League action, um, mighty. What are they called again? Mighty, something mighty minis. I think yeah. we've had them before for Superman and um, Batman versus Superman. I like these. I'm really looking forward to the show. I heard the really good things about the show. The mm -hmm. only thing that's I'm not, that I'm not too excited about is I think they're short episodes. I like thirty minute episodes. Oh yeah. Then we have pint size heroes for Disney. These are my good for my for this toy talk. Yeah. I really want these pint size heroes. They're adorable. I like them better than the mystery minis for these ones. Oh yeah, that's cool. Then there's retro video games. Max is all about the retro video games. Yeah, I like that they have little their boxes or little arcade cabinets. That's really really cute. Are you, you're looking forward to these? Yes, definitely. Yeah. And then some Funko Pops for Ghost in the Shell. And a lot of this stuff's going to be at Toy Fair, so. Mm-hmm. 
I am not really familiar with Ghost in the Shell, but the trailer was cool. These geisha were super creepy in the trailer. We're probably going to have to go through. Sorry if we go a little bit too fast, but there's so much Funko Pop news. Mm -hmm. So when we get to the Funko Pops, we're going to be going pretty fast. Yeah. Um, Rat Tattooey. Yeah. Cool. Space Jam. I can't believe they hadn't done Space Jam yet. I think they're doing another Space Jam 2 or or maybe they already did it. I don't even know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Taz is cool. I like him. We hit the regular Taz. Marvin the Martian. Swackhammer. M3. Did you watch that movie when you were a kid? Yeah, yeah. I've seen Space Jam. That's cool. These are Funko Mini Plushes. Or my, I really want to see the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. Yeah. We tried to go back and watch an episode. Like the first episode <laughs> of the, ever. It can be a little difficult. But I didn't mind it as much as you did because I remember it pretty accurately. I watched it when I was a kid. I I'm, didn't. I'm looking forward to a new take on it though. Yeah. There's some Tekken. Good. Yes. Tekken. Max, Max loves the fighting games. I like the king. Yeah. He's kind of freaky to me. Uh, Jin. The best one's coming up, though. Ninja Williams? Nina. Nina Williams. Nin no, not this one. <laughs> it's coming up. This one. That, that one? Kazuya with the red eye looks like a really cool pop. <laughs> oh, okay. That's cool. I don't play the game, so. Here's Overwatch figures. Cool. I don't play Overwatch either. I I would like to someday, because I really like that guy on the left. Some of the characters look really cool yeah that mech one looks really like i think that's a bigger funko yeah i would think it would have to be some Dorbs. more lo uh, lo lo looney tunes it's cute that's it oh and this one goes back to the uh rat tattoo yeah Oh man, the Balrog from Lord of the Rings. Which I'm, I'm, uh, I'm surprised they haven't yeah, done yet. They're they're do they have some announcements for the uh, for Lord of the Rings, and I was like, they didn't do this already. I guess yeah. when they came out originally, Funko wasn't that big yet. Probably yeah. Oh yeah, that was way before the original Lord of the Rings movie yeah. was way before I knew anything about Funko. Yeah. I still think they need to do um that that elf. Uh, Legolas's father on the the elk. Uh, that would be cool. Yeah, from the uh, the Hobbit Battle of Five Armies, but this is cool too. Pee Wee Herman Dorbs. Pee Wee Herman Dorbs. That's adorable. And then some artwork. So some of this is just concept art, yeah. which they might have actual vinyl figures at the toy fair. Mm-hmm. Yes. Good. Good. These are gonna. This is concept art for the mystery minis for oh. DC TV universe. Yes. The only thing that's weird is seeing like uh, the Penguin and Catwoman from Gotham on there, because they're they're kind of like a different tone than the other DC TV shows. Yeah, but that's those two are the two I that might want, want the most. I love Oswald. Yeah, but not Jerome. <laughs> what? From Gotham. Yeah, but he, you would he's... want you would run him, right? Yeah, but um, like I, I'm just saying, like those two have been in it from season one, and he's a newer character. So, the Joker, Jerome. I definitely want to get these. Yeah, pretty cool. These are older. I just older. include them. Yeah, buttons. Blind bag or blind pin. Pins. Button, button. Yeah. Yeah. There's the DC superheroes and Star Wars ones, and that's another picture of the Pint Size Heroes, and then we have Street Fighter Pint Size yes, Heroes. Yes, good. <laughs> like basically, all you need to get Max hooked is it be based off a fighting game, and he's hooked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two plushies. I want the baby Groot. I want the baby Groot so bad. Yeah. I like the new chains? plushies, but I kind of I'm upset that they're not really continuing the fabrications line. Mm. 
I think they weren't selling well, but the fabrications are some of my favorite Funko plushies. Yeah. So here's the Pocket Pop keychain from Kingdom Hearts, Donald and Mickey. Just to look at some of the subscription boxes. I've canceled all mine. Mm -hmm. Because I was, I'm not getting into it on this video, but a little disappointed. But there's some cool ones coming out, like Mark, uh, the mall one from uh, Rebels. Star Wars Rebels box? Yeah, that'd be cool. And uh, the showdown between Loki and Thor. Superhero showdowns. That's kind of interesting. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I think, I don't know. The Funko boxes were okay, but it, it got kind of boring to me. Um, the Pocket Pop key jeans for Goofy and Mickey. And then there's the Pete from Kingdom Hearts. The Donald from Kingdom Hearts. I should try to go through and play those games. It's been a long time. Uh, Goofy. And this GameStop exclusive Goofy. Walmart exclusive Pete, which is black and white. Hot Top exclusive Donald. That's my favorite. A Chip and Dale two pack. <laughs> and some Pops from Beauty and the Beast. There's Belle. There's the Beast. I don't like how they did his eyes. Yeah. He looks. His. It's the eyes on this, personally, that I don't like. I think um, they should have, like, added some, like, white paint for eye shine or something. Because with just the black eyes, he's kind of looking a little soulless there. <laughs> <laughs> There's Lumiere. It's interesting. Cogsworth. Mrs. Potts and Chip. I like how they did Mrs. Potts in the movie. Like, I'm not sure they did very good. Is, is the black eye thing again on these two? Mm -hmm. It's bothering me, but I like the design they did for the new Beauty and the Beast. And there's Celebration Bell. And a Barnes and Noble exclusive bell. That's my favorite. I like her with... She's holding Lumiere. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And Peasant Village Bell. Village, not Peasant. Uh, Walmart exclusive. And FYE exclusive Bell Castle Grounds. Her Castle Grounds outfit. And Hot Topic exclusive Beast, which is uh, flocked. You saw this on your toy hunt. Yeah. Again with the eyes. Like something about the eyes on this. Not, not too big on the eyes. They needed to do something. I don't know. Do you do you agree? Um, and there's um, Dorbs, Beauty and the Beast Dorbs, Dr. Seuss, Cat in the Hat. I really like that. I like the they're doing Dr. Seuss stuff. It's really cute. I want mystery minis or pint size here's of these. Sam I am. Fox and Socks. Horton, Super Size Pop. Dr. Seuss Dorbs. Sam I Am, uh, Thing 1 and Thing 2, which they look like they're flocked, and uh, Extra Large Dorbs for Horton Here's a Who, and the pens. I think the pens are really cute. Mm -hmm. And there's DC Hero Plushies. Oh, they put... Oh, there, it's a Wonder Woman movie, Superman, Batman, Suicide Squad ones. <laughs> There's baby boss pops already. Mm, very funny. Star Wars plushies. Pretty cool. Star Wars Force Awakens plushies. I want the Kylo. And I want the Kylo and the Rey. That's pretty cool. These are emojis for Star Wars. My emojis. My emojis. This is a good. I mm -hmm. still want them to do better with the my emojis and have the digital ready to just send to you. Yeah, and then there is the uh, the retro games. I like that Mega Man. <laughs> I I haven't played many retro games, so I'm not familiar with most things. 
And um, Walking Dead. In memoriam, like they did with Game of Thrones years ago. Oh. Uh, yeah, they could do a lot with yes. that with Walking Dead. Yeah. And Last Image. Okay, now that was a big preview. That Funko may have more info at Toy Fair. Mm -hmm. um, some of these concept arts, hopefully they'll have actual vinyl figures at the fair. Mm -hmm. So we'll be covering more. Uh, so if you want to stay up to date, please hit that subscribe, like Ducky said at the beginning, so we give you you were notified right away. Yep. Thanks for watching. Yep. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.